Okay, we're here at my pasture hives. Uh, this colony was a recent cutout from a water meter. They may be Africanized. Uh, the colony that I cut out from that same location last year definitely was overly aggressive. Um, so we'll see. Uh, they're, they're still kind of small, and so generally the smaller hives tend to be less aggressive. I'll give them a little smoke. Let them think about it. And then I'll open them up in just a minute. Um, so, again, uh, I confirmed the last time I was out here that we do have brood. Uh, we knew we captured the queen. The colony stayed. And so, once again, I'm just going to be making sure that they have the... Um, the space that they need uh, and by the way as I drove away from the previous from the uh, the yellow hive I'm sorry the golden hive um, I revised my opinion at least provisionally revised my opinion that they might need to be requeened soon because they didn't follow me very far and usually an overly aggressive hive it's been my experience that that to me is the initial concerning characteristic. Sorry girls, I'm not meaning to bump you as hard as I have. I need to figure out a way to deal with this big old lid. Okay, so I might not actually need to uh, requeen. We'll see how they behave on a day that's not rainy. It could have could just as much been the weather because they did not follow me uh, as far as uh, an overly aggressive hive typically does. Okay, last time I was here, I had these chunks of uh, comb that broke loose, and I, I left it there for them to rob out anything of value. They've done that. So I'm going to put these in the truck to melt down. Okay. For a recent cutout, we actually have... Quite a lot of, com of uh, frames. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I may not need to add anything. Yeah, I can tell here I'm not. I'm not going to need to add any new, although I might want to reposition them a little bit. So that one's completely empty. That one's completely empty. This one is completely empty. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Frame nine. Let's take a look at what we've got here. Storing nectar. I see lots of signs that they did a lot of cleanup on the frames. Lots of debris at the bottom. I think I gave them some old comb to clean up. All right, here we've got brood. I'm just gonna leave that alone. They've got lots of room to keep drawing there. The next one we've got brood. And they're getting a little spicy as I'm messing with their brood chamber. The next one we've got brood. And this one, I think, all right, a little bit of smoke might help. over here for now. Let's see if we move this aside now. Lots of good brood, good pattern there. And this next one, the pattern's not so good, but it may be that there was already honey stored. And I've got, there's larva there, it's just not been capped yet. So, my goodness. They're going gangbusters. So, so far, I've got... Is there brood on this one? Yes. Four. Five. Don't get all worked up at me. Just 
checking you out. inspections that's what this problem is I see why people are reluctant so I'm not entirely sure whether they are just aggressive or don't like the rainy day so I'm going to close them back up yep here's the banana smell legs. Are we still recording? Yeah. And I was in my in my jacket. These blue jeans. And they found their way up my pants legs and got me on the shit on the calf muscle. So I decided it was Best to beat a hasty retreat. Put on my full suit. And now I feel well protected. So we're just putting them back together. Uh oh, I was going to insert probably one additional frame. And I want to do that in between in between two frames that are quite nice and uniform. Looks like this will do. Combined with the other uh, the other frames that are mostly empty should be all that they'll need for at least a little while. frames at the end to build on plus one inserted in the middle. And we'll get them closed up and wish them well. Alright, let me put some stuff down over here and then I'll put that on. So another, another thing of note, mild-mannered bees generally go back to what they've been doing when you close up their hive. And these girls are staying on me. All right, now I've got one frame with me right here and another one with me in the truck that I can use on this hive. I hope they don't automatically inherit the feistiness of the cloud that's following me. They very well might though. So let's raise this lid.
So this one already has 10 of 10 frames out of a 14 frame capacity. So there's not a whole lot more that we can do. Let's see how full they're getting. This colony has overwintered twice now. This is their second year. Okay, I left them frame, what did I say, 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, frame 10 is still empty. Boy, they've got it propolized up though. Frame 9. I think was honey. There's a little nectar there. Lots of room for them to store honey from. Frame 8. Now I'm not sure. I think it's that same sting that's just throbbing a little bit. It felt like maybe a new sting. But I don't know. I don't think they'd be able to get up to my up my pants leg all the way to my calf. All right, frame, what did I say? Four, eight is empty. Boy, now these girls are getting feisty. It may be that it's just the weather. I'll look forward to seeing what their temper, temperament is maybe the weather it may also be the alarm pheromones from the other from the other hive all right here we go frame six mm -hmm. is another new one that i left them i think it was two weeks ago might have been last week whenever i was last out here and they are starting to draw that out nicely looks nice and even straight good example of a foundationless hive done right I think we'll see how that goes frame five these girls do like their propolis I'll be eager to trim that down and make some home remedies out of it later got nice frame of brood nice frame of brood on the other side a little bit of double layering going on but we'll cut that out and make it right later bottom line is they've got two and a half frames readily available for them to, to draw out so I think I'm gonna add one more and I'm not gonna look any further to avoid making them any more riled up than they already are girls you can calm down I'm out of your hive now oh I was going to give them that one more maybe more than they need but it's at this stage in the spring it's better to give them more space than they need than less
me. What that phone ever do to you? That must be camera shy. <laughs> oh. Alright, this was another case where these girls uh, had some frames. Smoker, don't go out on I may have to fuel up my smoker. Now well, it looks like it's got fuel. So there's a little bit of comb that broke out and I left it in here for them to rob it out. So I, now I'm going to take all of this scrap comb, now that they've cleaned it out of anything valuable, put it in the truck. Too. All right, from the looks of it, I don't need very many frames. Let's take a look. Only got seven frames in this one. They too have overwintered. Um, oh, actually, just once. This is their first overwinter. Boy, they're already already giving me the banana smell. Now this frame is nice and straight on that side. Storing resources there. Everything looks good on this frame except for this little nub. So we'll just shave that off. Tell them try again. Make it straight. Frame four, that was frame five. Frame four has both uh, worker and drone brood. I'm going to insert my, one of my new frames in between those two. smoke frame three has worker brood both sides that's a pretty decent frame Make straight another, another frame in frame two is another straight one. Lots of brood. I'm going to put it in there and then I'm going to insert. Another frame? I guess I didn't. We'll get one more. Uh, 
them up. Now we got some nice smoke to work with. them up. All right. And then finally, this hive was the consolidation of a Two new, or three new, no, no, two nukes and a shakeout. So I had three nukes. One of them ended up queenless. One of them ended up um, queen right. One of them ended up laying worker. And so as I winterized, I uh, combined the queenless and the queen right and then uh, shook out. Also had for them. Let me go get a couple of things. I had a. Uh, and I'll be able to take that out. I probably won't today. Well, maybe I should today. I probably should today. We'll see what they've got as far as resources. All right, we've got the two extra frames there we can do something with. Give them a little more smoke. And we'll see what they get. I can't tell which of these bees who are enraged by me are from which hive now. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. So place to store stuff. Looks like some bees are cleaning that out. There might have been some stores there, but if so, they pretty much emptied it. Frame 10 has some nectar stored. This was cutout comb. Frame 9. Looks like it may be a pretty new comb. I don't know. I, I might have given that. I think I gave them this from another another hive. Has had a lot of honey on it, and they've largely they've emptied it of all but about probably about half of the frame's contents. Frame eight. This was a half frame that I gave them. They haven't started to draw out the other half. It's got lots of nectar up top. Frame seven. Whoa. Nectar and pollen, plenty of both. Well, not an overwhelmingly 
overwhelmingly amount, overwhelming amount of nectar. Lots of pollen for the size of the frame. Let me give them a little more smoke. They're starting to roar at me. Six. Got brood, worker brood, milk brood. Probably some eggs, but the light's not conducive to spotting them today. It's too even. Don't see a queen there, but clear evidence of a queen at least within the last few days. All right, frame five is brood, including drones. There's the queen. Got a red dotted queen. I'm not gonna show you because I'm trying to hurry this up. She looking, she's looking good and lots of brood. So now I've got two, two frames of brood. There's a third frame of brood, but this frame is pretty wonky. There's several places where there's a lot of irregularities I'd like to avoid. Let me do a little more smoke. Okay. More brood. This has been, in the past it's been cut out. They need to expand it a little bit. This one makes five frames of brood, only a half frame here. See what they're doing on the first frame. Well, not going to take that out. It's got a bunch of comb adhering to the front wall, so we'll we'll remediate that later. So can't really tell what they're doing with that one, but probably that one, the first one is usually mostly resources. All right, so now I need to figure out where is a good place to insert. I think maybe right there between those two. I'm trying to pick the straightest, most regular frames to put it between. And then the second one can similarly go between these next two. Hopefully that'll get us some nice straight comb drawn out. Let's close it all up. All right, so now this frame, this box was made for 25 frames. We've got three, six, nine, 12, 13. So this box, if it were that size, it would be one frame from being full. And now I'm going to take the feeder out. We're going to put their divider board here. And that reduces the chance that they're going to come into, uh, into this other side and draw lots of comb out here somewhere. All right. So that's all I'm going to do with that. I guess I think I'll leave that sugar there because I don't have anything else to do with it right now. Close them up. All right, nothing too exciting other than other than the aggression about today. Just routine maintenance, making sure they've got plenty of space for the 
the upcoming spring flow. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll try to get more out soon.